Hi there, Dave Rawlings here of the London Longsword Academy, and today we're going to have a look at Malleus Martialis. Malleus are turning out what I would say, even in their most basic models, is really quite high-end uh, HEMA martial arts gear. Now they're providing daggers, they're providing bucklers, side swords, rapiers, all the way up to Spadone Montante, so they have a good spectrum of work, and some of it is extremely high-end. Some of it, as I say, even their most basic sparring equipment, I think really, really needs your respect. Now, to be very, very clear, everything that I have got on the table that's going to come onto the table is stuff that I have bought. There's no sponsorship material. This is all stuff that I have paid for, which is for me and for my school. The side sword that you can see here, we use in our vulgar class, um, and it's quite a simple one. It's their Agrippa Mark II. This Rondel dagger we use for mile work. Okay, so this is all stuff that I will use personally and that gets filtered through into the academy. So, first of all, the Agrippa Mark II. They do a variety of different complexities of hilts, and really because I use cup hilts in an awful lot of stuff, I've gone for something which is really the other end of the spectrum. Very simple, it has no extra protective rings other than these two, okay? So the Agrippa Mark II is quite simple, knuckle bone. One of the things I'd say about this, first of all, this handles absolutely superbly. As does this, and they both have good presence to them. And the reason I got them like this is because I wanted swords I could use for paired swords as well for my Godinho work. What I would say, however, was picking these up, you could notice a little bit of discrepancy. Now, these are both the same sword as far as I'm aware. I'm just going to put this on the scales. Here, this is 966 grams. And this one, sorry, this one, theoretically the same sword, is 895. So that's a big discrepancy, but both of them handle exceptionally, and using them together is not a problem. So I'm mentioning this because there can be, and I don't know whether this is an aberration, but there can be an awful lot of difference in the weight between individual items. However, fit and finish on them is absolutely superb, and the attention to detail is very, very good. So things that I really have problems with in a lot of swords that I train with is, for example, here where we come onto the pointed area that could lead onto the Ricasso, of the cross here is quite often this is left sharp by people and this is faceted by them and that is a lovely thing to pay attention to every time you pick up a malia sword you have a feeling it's been held in hand and somebody has actually taken the time to go you know what this is going to be uncomfortable let's round this edge let's make this a little bit smoother let's make it more ergonomic and that really shows and this goes through into the pommels as well recently i think they've changed these here okay um, change the peening so that you can actually take the fittings off and this is a very very good idea. Um, the guards are good and sturdy. Um, I haven't been bashing these around because obviously with the minimum protection you don't want to be smashed by one of these swords. So even though I'm using a pro gauntlet I am careful in how I fence and how my partners fence with me. But they are sturdy, they are well made and as I say the ergonomics of these, the way they are made to be comfortable there is no discomfort ever in holding these, and I really like that. And again, as I say, even that rounding of areas going into the pommels is exceptionally good. The points on these are reasonably well swelled, which is very good. And the flex, as you can see, is pretty good while not just being floppy. Okay, And that goes through both, regardless of the weight differential. Okay, So weight differential, be aware of as a, as a potential issue. That might be different to what they've got on there, but they are exceptionally well made. I'm extremely pleased with these for a training blade. Um, again, personally, the reason I've gone for less complexity is because I have so much hand protection on the rapiers, I wanted something more simple for paired weapons and for just doing side swords so that I, I'm basically aware of the hand as a target a little bit more. So these are exceptional. They do lots of different varieties. Everything I've handled by them has been great. So. Moving on from there, we have a training rondel, and I'd like to see them do more training knives and lots of more different quillen types for these things. So that if you want something that suits your little Morazzo desire, you can have something for your Morazzo desire, and that's a great thing. These, again, flex-wise, no, it's a rondel dagger. You don't want to have flex too much. You want to have caution. You want to have care in how you're playing with your partner. Good swollen tip. This, I did note that the disc actually came a little bit loose, um, but if you go through buying this as your school, you get little care packages, which I notice actually have an Allen key in there. We do school bookings, by the way, so we do orders for the whole school, so we get these for our students, so we're very, very lucky. 
Dealing with them in person and individually is also a pleasure. You do not need to go through middlemen. You do not need to go through us, for example, as a school. They are incredibly pleasant to deal with. We, however, do take advantage of the school offer they do, so it's very, very good. So going back to the rumble, again, like the side sword, I've got cord wraps on these. I believe you can get them with leather wraps and all of these things are very high quality. I have a gift for someone behind me who when she turns up for her lessons will get the gift and there's leather on that and it looks absolutely superb. So discs on these, good and sturdy. They come in lots of different types. It's good, it's comfortable. You can change your grip. It's a pleasure to train with. I've done some sparring with this. Uh, we were actually doing Morozo style sparring but it was very, very, very good to play with. Feels reasonably safe. It's still very short and stiff, so be careful, but an excellent, excellent buy. Next we have a sword I have not had a chance to actually use in sparring. But um, I have an awful lot of army swords because, as you know, I'm a bit of a specialist in 133. And this has got great heft, absolutely fantastic heft, but it moves so well, so nicely. So this, as far as I'm concerned, is actually probably my favorite 133 train that you're still gonna to have to put effort into all your training, but it moves very well. There's clear thought gone into the balance of this. It's, it's an absolute, absolute pleasure to hold. Sadly, it's not mine. Um, so I had to sell this on to someone else in the club who was absolutely determined, determined to have it. It's a lovely broad bladed type here. Okay, you can see the shape, and again, the comfort of the fittings is an absolute pleasure. Pommel, incredibly smooth. They've taken the wrap over the pommel so that you don't dig the side of your hand into the pommel. It's all exceptionally done. Very, very happy, again, with this removable tang. Okay. Then, we have a buckler, and I apologize for rushing through these things. There's not too much I can say other than I'm all on all of this. The quality of everything that I've had from Malleus has been exceptionally well done. This is still their basic models. Everything I'm showing you so far is basic stuff, okay? So nothing posh. This, again, this again was a recommendation of my friend Rob, friend Rob Runnikers who introduced me to Malleus, and I'm very, very grateful for him for doing so. This is, again, lovely. There are little things, like as far as I'm aware, some of the ones I've seen of these, they roll a little bit more on the edge, but I'm sure that is a variety of individual tages, but these are great. Their round bucklers are superb. They're really, really comfortable. They're putting so much thought into this. There's nothing I can say other than they feel great in the hand. They're not insanely heavy. They're well produced by people who think about things and clearly have the interest in the, mar of the, interests of the martial artist who's going to use them at heart. It's exceptional. Dealing with them is great and they're producing very, very good words. So, this. Now I'm going to give you a comparison on this. This was um, made for me specific, especially by Malleus and it handles exceptionally well and it's beautifully finished. It's not the cheapest thing in the world, I believe this is about 800 quid, but it handles exceptionally, exceptionally well. And this is going to be my problem with it. <clears throat> I love it. I really do love it. It has quite a lot of flex in the flats, if you can see here, but again this is not a historical. This is completely fine. Fittings and finish on it, absolutely superb, beautifully finished. You cannot believe how well the leather is done on this. The stitching is beautiful and it's lovely. It's 800 quid, it should be, you know, but I feel that I got my value for it. I do have one nitpick, which is that when I asked for this, I asked for something which was the same weight as the museum piece. And this is something I regard as a bit of a bad habit in Smith's quite often nowadays, and also in the, tra in the people training within HEMA, that we look for something which is better and more suitable to use, rather than something which is historically accurate in weight. And the thing that I wanted that was historically accurate in weight was significantly more heavy than this. And that's what I wanted to experience. And this is, if you remember, I did a video review of the, um, the Kano sword here, okay? Now, had I opened this and thought, this is a feather. I would have gone, this is an unusually sized feather of exceptionally good quality, and it's a feather, and I would have been happy with it. But 
it's not marketed, in my opinion, just purely as being a feather. It's it's somewhere between a feather and this beautiful, beautiful sword. Whereas this is that beautiful, beautiful sword. But both of them suffer from, in my opinion, and if this is based on an absolutely historical weight, then great, that's not a problem. There's a lot of differences in weights in sword. It's entirely possible that it's within that scope. But this is not what I wanted to experience because I wanted to be educated in how that weight felt historically. And for that, for that to influence my fencing and my understanding of the tool. So by having something that handles wonderfully, I've lost that information of how that specific thing works. So I adore this. I think it's beautiful. I love running around with it. It does not educate me in the same way that this does not educate me. So I love it. The workmanship is beautiful, but I'm disappointed in that aspect, so I have to be honest and clear about that. However, and if you have stuck with me thus far, I bought something else from Malleus, which you may have seen on their website in progress, you may have seen on their Facebook page. And um, yeah, this is a very, very interesting one because I bought this and I am very, very glad that they gave me the opportunity to buy it. I get a lot of swords from some very, very quality smiths. And one of the issues I have with Malleus is sometimes I pick up a sword from them and I go, why is this not sharp? Because the quality of this is Albion quality. The fit and finish on it is exceptional. Sometimes I think as high as Albion quality, sometimes maybe even higher. And then there's this that I bought from them recently. And this is a work of art. This, had I seen it from a custom smith who was turning out something exceptionally high-end for an individual customer who wanted something that was just going to be the prestige piece that they've ever dreamt of. I am blown away by this, by the absolute quality of it, by the chiseled lines, by the finish of the wire work. I cannot. It is a sword that almost brings me to tears for the quality of it. It is, I will give you close-ups of it. The fit and finish is beautiful. You still have this removable pommel. You have this beautiful wire, head, wire work and these Turks heads. And you have this exceptional work on the quillums, on the cross. And the fullering is so clean. It's when you go to museums and you see these bits where you have these chiseled lines and the lines are so square and so clean. And this, this respects that tradition. And this is, it was not a cheap sword, I assure you, but in my hand, I, this is such an annoying thing to say, it pisses me off so much to say it. You go into a museum and you pick up one of seven real swords and you go, this one is a real sword because it confirms your bias. This in the hand is beautiful. I want to train with it all the time. It is exceptional. It is just absolutely an object of desire. And again, this is the point where for the money I paid for it, I'm kind of like, why is this not sharp? And then I'm glad it's not sharp because I get to run around with this thing in the back garden or potentially go and train in the park. And it's such an exceptional piece. It's, it's incredible. These people have turned out something which is of such high-end quality. I cannot express to you the beauty of it. It really, really, really has blown me away. So, Malleus, for whatever standard you are, they're not the cheapest gear on the block, but they are turning out something which is of habitually high standard, is very, very well thought out for the HEMA community. And I'm sorry that this has been a long video, and I hope that you've stuck to the point of seeing this. I will give you some close-ups of this to finish off the video. All of their gear that I have handled has been exceptionally well done. You can deal with them on an individual, personal basis with exceptionally good value and pleasure. And one of the things I'm, I'm going to mention again, and I'm sorry to waffle, is that quite often being an instructor of quite a large academy, 
if I deal with um, a particular company, I will have the best experience because of my name, because of what I do. The difference with Malleus for me has been that when other people have gone to deal with them, when students have gone to deal with them and haven't said anything about the London Longsword Academy, when they've gone to say, I would just like this off your shelf, they have had the same exceptional quality of customer service and interaction and there's a pleasure and there's a joy that is not just this I'm trying to sell you something it is a genuine genuine love of how they operate and they express that to you so this is beyond compare I, I love this I am so so glad to work on it um, Amalius thank you very very much if you are looking for side swords be very comfortable with them dealing directly or through whoever you want to deal with, but dealing with them directly is so, so good. We put in orders regularly for the school because we get a good discount. It's worth mentioning that they do these discount programs. If you run a school, they will reward you for being with them. Um, and it's absolutely superb. As a business model, I absolutely adore them. As a manufacturer, I adore, adore what they're putting out. Malleus come absolutely hugely recommended. Have a good day. Take care. Bye bye. So it's very odd to pick up a sword and almost be moved to tears by what an absolute pleasure it is to hold and experience it. And I've occasionally had this when I've handled stuff from Marco Donelli and when I've handled stuff from Balefire, where the exceptional quality of it and the effort that's gone into it really, really, really shines through. But this, in my opinion, is something so exceptional and the cleanness of every aspect of this, the thought that's gone into this, there is pleasure in making this and it shows, it really, really does show and I am so glad to own this. So, Malleus, extremely recommended. Have a good day.